Hey everyone, you're listening to Fantasy Uptick. I'm Jeremiah Blue, and today I'm going to talk to you about Jamison Crowder and why he should be on your short list of deep sleepers at the end of drafts. Let's get to it. So if you follow this channel and you watch my mock draft, you're going to notice that I draft Jamison Crowder a lot towards the end. And the reason for that is because, like most experts, I'm going after running backs early, I personally like to get one of the top six tight ends. I like to free up my bench spot. When I get one of the top six tight ends, I feel good about not having to get a backup tight end. And then I like to get one of the top two quarterbacks if I can. So depending on how the draft falls, I'm not reaching for these guys. But at the end of the second, early third, if I can get Mahomes or Lamar Jackson, I'm typically trying to do that. So that means I have to wait on somebody. And the, the position that I'm waiting on this year is wide receiver. Now, Jamison Crowder is one that I really like to get because he has such a high floor. If we just look at the system he's in, the Adam Gase system, Adam Gase typically likes to target the slot receivers. Throughout his whole like coaching career, the slot receivers always had a lot of success with Adam Gase. And last year, while the Jets were pretty terrible because their offensive line was garbage, Sam Darnold got hurt. He was out three games with Mono. And then when he came back, it took him a little while to really get going. But what people don't remember about last year, because the Jets were just viewed as a really, really bad team, which they were, they don't remember that Sam Darnold actually took his team 6-2 and two down the stretch of the last eight games of the year. So I think Sam Darnold is going to make a huge improvement this year. We look at his age. He's really not that old. He's younger than Joe Burrow. So... When we take that in consideration, I'm expecting him to continue to improve. This is year three for Sam Darnold. And if we look just last year, what Jameson Crowder meant to Sam Darnold, we look at the percentage of, of the passing share of Sam Darnold's passing share. When I say percentage of his passing share, this is what Sam Darnold put up in yards and how many times he targeted certain receivers and how many receptions he, he allotted to certain receivers. So if we look there, Jameson Crowder had... About 25% of everything and had a bigger share of the touchdowns, but touchdowns can be volatile which which direction they go. But I think that this is about what we're going to expect about out of Jameson Crowder going forward. They didn't really do anything to improve the receiving group. They actually lost Robbie Anderson. They brought in Perriman. They drafted Mims. But Robbie Anderson was kind of the guy last year, especially when in terms of snap share. Robbie Anderson was on the field a lot. He was on the field in a top... 10% of all receivers in the NFL. So he was he was the guy last year, even though Jamison Crowder accounted for 25% of everything because he's a slot receiver. We go back to what, what I was talking about with Adam Gase and how in his system, you get guys like Jarvis Landry in Miami, Wes Walker in Denver. The slot receiver plays a giant role. So the biggest issue with this team last year was, again, the injuries to Sam Darnold and the offensive line woes. Well, this year they go out and spend a first-round pick on a left tackle, or, or he could end up playing right tackle if they decide to move Fant to left tackle. And then they through free agency, they essentially improved their line across the board. There's going to be four new starters, I'm predicting, on the offensive line this year. So And, and they got other guys there, so there's going to be competition. But at least Connor McGovern, who is a big time center free agent ad. And I think center when it comes to offensive line is one of the most underrated positions in football period. But in the offensive line, they, they're the ones that kind of direct traffic or direct divvy out responsibilities in those pre-snap reads. So I think having a good center there is really going to help out Sam Darnold. Obviously improving the tackle positions is really going to help out Sam Darnold. And then the uh, upgrade at guard. So, the fact that the offensive line is going to be one of the most improved units in football, that's going to be a big plus for Sam Darnold. So I'm projecting, again, about 4,000 yards passing at a minimum, really, for Sam Darnold. And that's really middle of the pack in the NFL. And I expect that Jamison Crowder at least is going to account for 25% of the receptions, 25% of the targets, 25% of the yards, because all that really happened was the better receiver or Robbie Anderson, who was basically on the field more last year, is gone. The only person that really Sam Darnold has any kind of rapport with at this point is Jamison Crowder. Now, I think Mims and Perriman are going to be good for Jamison Crowder because they're going to be stretching out the field, right? The offensive line improvement is going to be good for Jamison Crowder because now Le'Veon Bell is going to have something to run behind. It's going to be He's going to probably be the most improved player in this offense is Le'Veon Bell. 
because of the upgrade to the offensive line. And remember, he was coming off the year we held out. Again, Sam Darnold wasn't there for a lot of it that year, so there was no real passing threat. And Le'Veon Bell's style, people forget, but he's such a patient runner that it really plays to having a good offensive line. If he doesn't have a good offensive line, his style is awful because you can't be patient when there's no holes going to develop. But if some holes start to develop, Le'Veon Bell could take a really big step. Now you're crowding the line of scrimmage and it's going to allow Jamison Crowder a little bit more room to move because you've got two receivers on the outside in Mims and Perriman who are just going to really put a lot of pressure on defenses. The middle of the field is going to be wide open for Jamison Crowder. And again, that's the way that system kind of works. I think that at a minimum, assuming Sam Darnold plays all 16 games this year, you're going to get a thousand yard receiver. He's going to finish in that top 30 group of wide receivers this year, just assuming he plays all, all 16 games. He's a guy that you can just plug and play every single week. His floor is so high. Now, granted, does he have the upside of a guy like, say, AJ Green, who you can take maybe two rounds earlier, or a guy like Will Fuller, who could end up being the new Hopkins of the Texans, which I'm not predicting. I'm just pointing out, like, there's upside guys out there that you can definitely have. But this guy is just, like, such a high floor. He's not a sexy pick. So he's not really going to be rising up draft boards very much because, A, people don't believe in Sam Darnold, which, again, is, is a mistake because, remember, of his age, he should just be coming out of college at this point. And... I think I'm expecting a large improvement. And again, I like Jamison Crowder, but it's not necessarily because of his talent alone. It has more to do with the fact that he's going to be the number one receiver on that team. Adam Gase likes to feature the slot in his offense. Sam Darnold's improvement. And I don't think that the percentages change much. I think that Jamison Crowder is still going to account for 25% of basically everything, if not more, because Robbie Anderson is gone. I think Mims eventually becomes the number one, but not this year. I think he becomes the number one receiver later down the road, two, three years in. And Perriman, we know what Perriman is. He's a distraction. He's he's a guy that's just there to take the top off the defense and really open things up for the players around him. They're better. Both Mims and Perriman are going to be better real-life players this year than they are fantasy players, where Jameson Crowder, I think, is really going to eat in fantasy, especially in those... PPR leagues. Okay, that's it for today's show. Thanks for listening. Let me know in the comments what you think about Jamison Crowder. As always, please like and subscribe. That would really help our channel quite a bit. We're trying to grow and every like and subscribe we can get really helps. Until next time, see ya!